Opening statements beginning today in the trial of a man accused of fatally shooting a cyclist on the Rickenbacker Causeway back in 2019. Local tense Leanne Wernerholm joins us live outside the courtroom in Miami with the latest on this. Leanne. So Piedraita's public defender says that this was all a case of self-defense. The state, however, says that he pulled the trigger in cold blood. This was a calculated, rage-filled, unjustified killing of an unarmed man. Opening statements today in the trial of Cadel Piedraita, facing a charge of second-degree murder and aggravated assault with a firearm, relating to the shooting death of a cyclist on the Rickenbacker Causeway. He did the only thing that he was able to do to defend himself, to protect himself. The incident happened back in August of 2019 and was captured from multiple angles by various sources of video. Cadel Piedraita was riding a motorcycle as he followed along with a cycling group his son was a part of. A scuffle ensued between Piedraita and a cyclist named Alexis Palencia. The two exchanged words and ended up in a shoving match. Two other cyclists joined in against Piedraita. That's when Piedraita allegedly pulled out a gun and shot Palencia and made a threat with the gun against a second cyclist named Cesar Sosa. He was itching to do so since the day before. The state points to a rant Piedraita posted to social media the day before the killing, in which he made threats towards Palencia stemming from a prior feud with him. Shortly after he posted it, he began to fall back. The defense says Piedraita did not come to the ride that day to kill anyone and only shot because he was being attacked. It is not his intention to kill anybody. Jurors first heard from the lead detective. Here she talks about the people they chose to interview about what they witnessed that day. We were comfortable that we had identified everybody that was there at the moment that from beginning to end, from the moment that the altercation ensued to the moment that the victim was shot, we had everybody accounted for. And the defense also alleges that the alleged victim in this case at one point was armed. The state does maintain that he was not. Of course, it's up to the jurors to decide what they make of the evidence presented. The trial has wrapped up for the day and will resume on Monday. Reporting live in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.